There are so many delicious cuisines that come out of Asia, but it's the biggest continent in the world. So I found somewhere right here in the Melbourne CBD where your taste buds can take a trip around Asia in just one sitting. Meet Lucy Liu, where flavours from across Asia come together in an art form known as Asian fusion. And Chef Zach is teaching me its finer points. It's a taking of dishes from all the way across Asia and mixing them all together in one dish. And the perfect example is their Jean Bing pancake roll with a soft shell crab, which is full of different Asian styles. Yeah, a little bit of Japanese, a little bit of Chinese, a little bit of uh, Thai slash Vietnamese style. And the fusion of... begins. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's showing me how they're all wrapped up in one. Soft shell crab inside our crepe. Yep. Then we're going to add all of our other ingredients. So we've okay. got our sliced spring onion. Yep. Where's the spring onion from? <laughs> <laughs> All over yeah. the spring onion. <laughs> yeah, down the big market. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's my turn. <laughs> Boom. Oh, yeah, you've done pretty well. That's all right. You've done well. Service. Well. <laughs> what did they dish up? Is that, is that it? Yeah, that'll do. Service. <laughs> and there's plenty more flavours from all around the continent. Let me present the Japanese kingfish sashimi with toasted coconut and hot mint or the drunken chicken with spring onion and ginger. You won't want to let that one get away from you. They're mixing it up with the Indian flavours in the lamb shoulder curry. And finally for dessert, the Vietnamese coffee ice cream with fried Chinese donut. It's a knockout. But for me, I'm sampling my own little work of Asian fusion and the results are mixed. Deliciously mixed. So my taste buds just got an all expense paid trip around the world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>Now, tea is such a massive part of Asian culture. They use it as a welcoming drink, they drink it to relax, and today I found myself in anchovy in Richmond where they also use tea to cleanse the palate before a culinary experience you'll never forget. Yo! Anchovy takes diners on an exploration of Southeast Asian food, and the first step for me on this road is to find out why do they call it anchovy? I guess the foundation of Southeast Asian food, it's fish sauce. Ah. Uh, so, so then there was, oh, that's right, fish sauce is made from anchovies. Head Chef T is serving up the best of Vietnamese cooking, like the rice paper roll with fresh ocean trout and coconut, or the vegetarian delight of charred asparagus, broccoli, bean curds and moyama. But the menu also takes diners to new horizons with interesting and unique flavours you're not going to expect. Like the Vietnamese blood pudding served with ginger and herbs in a light cos lettuce. That tastes nothing like blood. They may as well just call it awesome pudding. That is really tasty. And that's not all. There's the hangar tartare with herbs and mustard served with crispy rice crackers. You should give it a go. And so will I. That is a winner. Not bad at all. And then to finish your journey, for dessert, try the rum parfait with coconut, pineapple and ginger beer. And it's this array of exciting flavours that makes anchovy a rewarding food exploration. Well, you know what they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I've definitely been adventurous today and I've definitely gained a few pounds. <laughs> that was awesome.